Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner, and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of meeting with Alice Hyman, and she is a thought leader in the space of networking. Welcome, Alice. Thanks so much, Gerhard. It's a pleasure to be here and to talk about one of my favorite topics, which is networking. So why do you think that some people have networking reluctance, like others have cold call to reluctance? I think for business owners or senior leaders, they're afraid if they go to these networking events, uh, people, salespeople who don't know how to network will rush up to them, try to give them their business card, get a business card, put them on a list and spam them. Business owners and senior business leaders and salespeople, we don't have a lot of time. So if we're gonna go out to something, we want it to be really worthwhile and we want to get results. And I think a lot of people think that these networking events are, are a waste of time and they can't really get results from them. Well, and there's another thing, which is uh, you want to network in the right room. And the biggest mistake I see salespeople making is they go where they think customers are. Well, that seems to make logical sense, right? I want to meet customers. I want to meet people who can buy from me. But if we do that, we're really narrowly and really probably looking for the wrong thing because you can't really sell at a networking event anyway. So how do you even know if these people are your customers? So I always say, whether you're a business leader or a salesperson, go out to a networking event and look for people who you can collaborate with, people who you might be able to develop into a referral source, and of course, people who could potentially be a customer. So a lot of people don't know what questions to ask. Do you have any tips? Questions to ask are just, Questions that will help you get to know people. You know, what, do you come to these events often? What brought you here today? Have you ever heard the speaker? Um, you know, what kind of business are you in? Just in general, tell me about your business. Uh, and get the other person talking. See, this is, this is the key. It's really just the fine art of conversation. If we can just get the other person talking, we can learn so much. And we will learn in that conversation whether they are a good prospect. And if they are, they've now built enough of a relationship with us because we've listened to them that after the event, they'll probably take our call or answer our email. I think networking is really a time to slow down a little bit, ask questions and listen, and get people to tell you about themselves. And when you say, where are you from originally to somebody, you're right. It takes them right back to their childhood. You know, we can really get some common ground when we talk this way. So what are the rules for follow-up? How soon after your network should you follow up? First of all, if you've had a great conversation with somebody while you're networking, they're going to be happy to hear from you again. And you're going to do the natural thing. If you're in town with the same person, you go to coffee, you go to lunch, get a cocktail, take a walk, you know, do something and get back together again. And that should be soon. You should contact them, I would say, you know, within two days. And it was so nice to meet you. I loved our conversation about, and I even write a handwritten note, Gerhard. I mean, I, you know, I love to get a handwritten note in the mail. It's hand addressed to me. It's got a stamp on it. I open it. Pretty card. Nice note. Then, you know, follow up with something valuable. I love talking about this or that. Here's an article I thought you might really enjoy because of the conversation that we had. Give them something. And then schedule a meeting on it. Again, if you're in town, face-to-face -face some kind of a meeting, do a Skype call or, um, you know, connect by phone, whatever is comfortable for you to do. And again, don't try to sell at that point. You probably still aren't even sure if they're a prospect or not. Just get to know them a little bit more and figure out if you can do something for them. What about doing a selfie with a prospect? <laughs> that will... <laughs> You know, it's so much fun when we're at Sales 2.0 together, when we meet new people and we get those selfies and we post them online. I mean, it, it, again, it's just another great way to connect. Are you going to write a book on the subject? Look, I actually have written a book, I should say. I wrote an ebook called Connecting Your Way to New Business, and I'm working on expanding that now so that I can really help people understand you know, networking, it's like, oh, no, I don't want to do it. I want them to love networking. I want them to be passionate about it like I am. But I want them to do it in a way that's comfortable for them and do it their own way. So I always say, you know, listen, when you're networking, you actually don't really have to do any talking at all. You have to be a great listener. One good question, you can get somebody else talking, and you don't have to talk. You can just be the listener. Yeah, but the more you listen, the, the, the greater they think the conversation was. The only time I am 100% sure I have your undivided attention is when I'm listening to you 
and your time. Alice, I really, truly enjoyed this conversation with you, and we'll go into continue uh, to tap into your wisdom. So tune in to uh, our next conversation, which will happen very soon. Anybody who wants to learn more about Alice, go to alicehyman.com. And you can download the Connecting Your Way to New Business ebook there as well.